me. Yes. Ain't nobody say that. Yes. A clean heart. Come on, because there are some things in my innermost being. Yes. Come on, come on. The central source of my feelings, my emotions, and my actions yes. that were not like God. Ain't nobody say that. See, this thing that pump blood, that's not your heart. That's a heart, but that's the organ. When it talks about the heart, it's talking about the sinnermost being of an individual. Where their thoughts, their emotions, their feelings, and their actions come from. So he said, create a new in me. So I don't manifest old actions. I don't be moved by old thoughts. I don't get moved by the wrong feelings Lord, that I keep control of my emotions and stop letting my emotions have control of me somebody say create a, 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 a renew a recreate in me a new heart a new heart a new heart He's able to do that. The Bible says, and uh, I believe it's First Samuel chapter number ten, verse number nine. It says that God gave Saul a new heart. His heart wasn't right. God gave him a new heart. And as soon as God gave him a new heart, he began to prophesy right along with the prophets. He could not have done that in his. Old, in, the, in the old heart that was in him, but the new heart had a prophetic dimension locked in. Look your neighbor said, when he renew your heart, he renew everything about you. Because if God be for me, then you can be 
kind of get rid of the filthiness of the spirit. Let's start getting your spirit. It defy your whole body. You got folk that speak in tongues, still got a messed up spirit. Speak in tongues and it'll cuss you out.